what is up my name is Cody and I've got another video for you guys today today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use two instances of OBS on one PC and stream to both Twitch TikTok, YouTube uh, Twitter whatever it might be whatever streaming service you're looking to stream to and here we have the first shortcut on our desktop that we have just from installing OBS you should all have this uh, right click open file location and then we're gonna go up here to the navigation bar we're going to click back a few until we have just the folder that says OBS-Studio. Mine says tutorial on it just for organization purposes from me. And all you're going to want to do is just copy it. You can right click and copy or you can do control C and then control V. It's going to go ahead and copy it again. Uh, for most of you guys, this will probably be in your program files. But again, I just wanted it to be a little bit more cut and dry. I just wanted it to be so you could only see the two that we're working with, not to confuse anybody. All right, now that we've got our two folders, OBS-Studio and OBS-Studio-Copy, we can go ahead and rename this copy to, mm, what's the other service that we're going to be streaming to? I'm going to put TikTok, and then I'm going to name this one Twitch, just so I know which one's which. All right, and now that we've got our two separate folders, we're going to go ahead and double-click into each of them, go into bin, 64-bit, scroll all the way down until you see the OBS logo down here. We're going to select it and then we're going to alt drag onto our desktop to create a shortcut and we're going to go back and do the same for the other one so that was the twitch one let's go back and do it to the tiktok one and we're going to want to remember which one is which so let's go ahead and rename those shortcuts quick before we forget TikTok, Twitch. Okay, cool. Now that we've got our two shortcuts, we're going to go ahead and right click on one of them, go to properties, go to the shortcut tab, and then right here in this target box, you're going to just scroll all the way to the end, right past the quotation mark, type space, and then dash dash portable. Go ahead and click apply. We're going to do that to the other one as well. Go into the target box again, all the way to the end. Space, dash, dash, that's two dashes, portable. All right, and then after you click apply, you should be good to go. You can go ahead and click on one and just check to see what it looks like. Just like that, a brand new version of OBS. Um, I have the Stream Elements version, which is why popping up looking like this yours might not look like this it might just be a black screen we'll just go ahead and continue without logging in and the way you can make sure that it works is up at the top it will say portable mode and I will show you that they're both working side by side let me move that let me go ahead and click on the TikTok version now taking a moment to load and there we are we now have two OBS's running ready to stream your gameplay to any websites. Both are picking up my mic. We can actually just go ahead and start fine tuning them as well, just to kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Let's go down here to video. Let's do a base resolution of 1080 by 1920. That's gonna be our TikTok. Right there, you see it's vertical. Just to give you a further idea of what it's going to look like, let's go ahead and start adding a source into here. Video capture device. Let's add in our camera. Right there, there I am. A little upside down, but I'm there nonetheless. TikTok one is looking good. We can also add our gameplay down there too. Let's go ahead and start setting up the Twitch, Twitch stream a little bit. Go down to video, we'll do 1920 by 1080. Although I wouldn't recommend streaming 1080p on Twitch unless you are partnered and you have the bitrate. Maybe 720p would probably be best. Bam, nice and widescreen. Video capture device, just like we did on the first one. Camera. 
So there we go. We got two different streams going on. Um, obviously, you just want to, you know, finish filling out your settings here for the Twitch stream as well as on the TikTok stream. Um, once you have one vertical and one horizontal, it's pretty easy to tell which is which, but you could always go in and change your, uh, your profile settings. We can just go right in here and write TikTok. And then we can go into this one on the profile and write Twitch. And those files will save with their individual OBS saves. So also just go in here and add our gameplay. There we go. Make it nice and zoomed in for the TikTok. Let's go ahead and add it in for the Twitch. Gameplay. Bam. And just like that, you're good to go. A little bit of fine tuning, and I think that you'll find uh, great success from being able to stream on both. Uh, it is possible that your PC might not be able to run two streams at once. If that's the case, you can always go into each of the settings. Again, they all run individually so you know it's a little bit to wrap your head around you got two streaming services going at once so not only do you have to troubleshoot one but you have to troubleshoot two you can go into the output uh, change your encoder preset lower it a little bit ease up some of that CPU usage um, play around with some of the settings uh, lower your FPS there's a lot of options uh, lower your resolution uh, bit rates depending on what you're having issues with but that pretty much covers uh, but that pretty much covers the first part of this video I just kind of wanted to cover the basics uh, send it around to some friends, some viewers that have been asking about this um, so that I hope that it helped you out. If you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment or you know, send me a tweet or DM me on Twitter, come into my stream. Also, one final thing, if you're having any issues with sources not working on both OBS, if you just go ahead and add a new scene with that source as a full screen, we'll go ahead and just say full cam, say that the camera's not showing up on both, right? We'll add our camera. There it is, full cam. We'll start a virtual camera right here below the start streaming button. We'll click the cog wheel. We'll click an output type and we'll click scene. And then we'll go ahead and find that full cam scene. Bam. Start up the virtual camera. And then what that'll let us do is that'll create a new output source on our PC that is this scene. So you can do it with any source that you have or multiple sources if that's what you want to do. Um, if you're having issues with multiple, you could set up a new scene with multiple setup, and then we can just go right over here to the other OBS, or you could try Discord, Skype, anything that you need these sources to be on. Go over, click Add, Video Capture Device, and inside Video Capture Device, we'll find OBS Virtual Camera. Bam. There it is. So I now have two, but if you're missing it, you're missing it completely, it's a way to just bring it over or use it in another device such as Discord. Hopefully I didn't lose you on that last part. If you're not having any issues with sources showing up, just completely forget everything I just said. Uh, today we covered basically copying your OBS folders, making two separate folders for your, your TikTok, your Twitch stream, uh, your YouTube stream, whatever it might be. You just repeat that same process and then creating shortcuts on your desktop, making them into portable and setting them up so that you can go live on both at once. That is gonna do it for the video today. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. I appreciate that. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to post them in the comments below. Stop by my Twitch stream, send me a Twitter message, uh, whatever it might be. I'm always down to help people out that are trying to improve their stream. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace.